off to St. Augustine to check out Boat Life. Come on aboard! Boat Life? This could be our RV space instead of an RV, a boat. I'm Tammy and this is my husband Scott. Till further notice, we are on a mission to explore, create, and we hope to inspire you to try new things too. Ready? Jump! All right, drop Gracie off and we're going to the oldest city in America. Yeah, I think the last time we got away by ourselves without our uh, four-legged child was when we went to Colorado last summer. She stayed with Grandma and Grandpa for like five days and did well, so she does really good at their place. Ready to go see Grandma? Are you excited? Are you excited to have cousin? Very hard leaving her. We're used to taking her with us everywhere we go. Are you ready, dear? Oh, we must be sure. There's no turning back once we're out the door. Leave your message here on the telephone. Cause we've no idea when we're coming home. St. Augustine and it's really fun trying to park a dually in St. Augustine. If we if we didn't have a hotel room I don't even think we'd find a parking space in the whole town. We have a good like a motel place with parking lot all the cute bed and breakfast they didn't have parking so it is what it is but that's not why we're here. And we're right across from the marina and it so happens that we know somebody and they've got their boat parked right across the street, so yeah. we're gonna we're gonna be getting together with them. We're gonna see what boat life is like. Pretty convenient. Our uh, hotel's right across the street from the municipal marina where they're docked, and there's a pirate ship over there. This looks like the good life. Boat life? This could be our RV space instead of an RV, a boat. I think this is where you put your dinghy, babe. Yeah, we're looking for their boat, Hawkins Landing. <laughs> so, yeah, a little I, rough in St. Augustine, Bob? Little rough at the dock. Rough enough that I had to take a dram of me. Not great. <laughs> at the dock, I feel like a wimp. It's been stormy, so they had a little trouble trying to get this baby in the slip. But thank goodness they made it with very minor damage. Remind you of RV life? It was rocking, slapping, the whole deal. But I didn't take any dram of me. Come on aboard! He's ready. You have permission. Permission granted. This is a Carver 450 Voyager. It's 47 feet long. It weighs 39,000 pounds. It's got twin 450 Cummins engines in them, 8.3 liter. They are the same ones that you would see in like a dump truck. It cruises at 17. It's full speed at 24. 17 miles an hour, we get 0.66 miles to the gallon. So it gets expensive when we do that. So we don't do that very much. Here is my galley, my kitchen. Yes. That's more space than I'll probably have in our next And room. so I have a little wash tub I put in there when I get ready to wash dishes. I've got a little, uh, I can pull this over, have a little more counter space, and I got a two top. What do you think? I am uh, already feel lost. It's a, it's a yacht. But I always feel kind of weird saying a yacht I don't like to say because that. then you get people going, oh, la di da. You have a yacht. <laughs> and now we just got a boat. We got a boat. Mm -hmm. 
this is it. This is our mansion on the seas. Right it here. is a so, mansion. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But anyway, yes. How much experience do you have boating? Three days now. I'm no. <laughs> I just am trying to prove to Scott that you're experienced. Um, we can't ever be boaters. Yes, you can. Everybody can be a boater. From when I was a little kid, this is our ninth boat. So this is not new to us, really. But I took a 10 year hiatus saying, I never want to own another boat again because I was tired of fixing boats, but I couldn't resist. We came back and now all I do is fix boats. Mm -hmm. so. When we started this, Bob goes, you know what? Um, I think I like this uh, great American loop thing. And I said, what is that? And they said, 6,000 miles around a little course. You can go into the Great Lakes. You could go also into Canada. You'll go down the Mississippi. Um, you'll hit into the Gulf and then you'll go down into Florida, come around. Wherever we kind of started would be our wake whenever we pass it. But how many miles have we done so far, Bob? We've done 2,800 miles, but it's been a good year for us. I had never tied up a boat. I had never fendered a boat. I'd oh, never God. been on a boat. And this is all new, but I'll tell you what, in the last 12 months, I have learned so much. Do I drive? Nope, I don't <laughs> drive the boat unless he has to go have a potty break. We'll put it on autopilot. I sit there and I tell him you have 30 seconds. So it's not much different than Scott and I pulling the fifth wheel. No. Anxiety starting to set in. But in time, I will, but I, I think I'm doing pretty I good. I think you're doing pretty darn good, never being a boat girl. No, never being a boat massive, girl. Massive, massive nope. boat going, doing the Great Loop. Yeah. All right, now we need to go meet Charlie. Yeah. They uh, Charlie's have a boat you. cat, and he has his own Instagram. Hey, Charlie. Aww. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, you're so beautiful. Always oh, giving me lickies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you did a good boy. You did a good boy. Yeah, that's a camera. A Are you good, buddy? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip you up, okay? When he's up here, we usually try to um, make sure he's in his carrier. A lot of times when we're driving, we'll either set him there, or a lot of times he likes to sit right up here mm -hmm. and then he can watch everything and most of the time he's like a cat he sleeps if you want to follow charlie or bob and rhonda on their adventures i'm going to put their links down in the description so go check them out and follow them and then you'll get to do the great loop with them okay. what is your favorite part of doing boat life for a while oh um you know, seeing new places. We get to keep traveling and seeing new places all the time. And I'm always excited the day we start traveling. I'm usually nervous that first day uh, if we haven't traveled in a couple of months. But once we get going and we get in the in the sort of in the uh, groove of going, it is great. You've seen a lot of pictures, a lot of things in movies, and now where it's like, ooh, wow, we've been there and we yeah. see it. I want to say, you guys inspire the heck out of us because our whole deal is trying things that you don't feel real comfortable with and yeah you're not, that you're not too too old and you guys you guys inspired us big time so really all right wow. we'll get you a boat wow. and then you can come with us next yeah. year you didn't inspire us that much <laughs> <laughs> not enough not enough well, Darn. what's it gonna take you saw the hole in the side of the boat <laughs> St. Augustine is gorgeous at night. We've never been here at night. It's all lit up. What do you think of boat life? I think if I was 10 years younger, I'd be highly tempted, and if I had more money in my wallet, <laughs> I'd be highly tempted to jump on board with all this. It sounds cool and stressful, but if we had a smaller boat, I think I would do it. Their boat's big. One thing with an RV is once you park it, it doesn't move. What are you guys doing in here this morning? We're having extra cuddles because we missed her. Huh, baby? I know. Are you sad? Oh, we don't like being apart. Well, it's good to be back and we got a good night's sleep and level heads are prevailing this morning. And anyway, do you want to take a look at what I've just found on Facebook Marketplace? It better not be a boat, mister. Charlie was really enjoying boat life. I think Gracie might have a knack for it as well. Do you think you'd like boat life? Gracie, do you want to do boat life? 
She won't even make eye contact with you. I think there's your answer. Gracie, it's oh, up. Oh, she's shaking. Gracie, it's she up. She doesn't want to do boat. <laughs> oh. It's up to you. Do you want to do boat life? I think you have your answer. 